Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. And today I have um, something really simple for you guys, just a strawberry syrup. And I am making this because we are out and it is uh, coming up on strawberry season. And I know you're like strawberry season. I don't know if you guys have strawberry season where you are, but in North Carolina, right around the beginning middle part of April there's lots of strawberry festivals because um, the strawberries are you know harvestable there is time to harvest the strawberries and so um, the price of them goes down and you can buy tons and tons and tons of strawberries so this is the beginning of strawberry season so um, we do a lot with strawberries around here. So today I'm making a strawberry syrup for one for pancakes and then two um, I like to buy plain yogurt and I use the strawberry syrup to sweeten it so and I'm going to show you that it's really simple really easy so you just need strawberries however many you want I'm going to use um, this I'm just going to use regular sugar two tablespoons and I'm going to wash my strawberries here and I'm using the Le Creuset saucepan and this is my jar for when I'm done this is a this I think it was an olive jar no uh, I think it was a jar well I know it was a jar from Whole Foods and it used to have like I think dressing it salad dressing in it but I'm, I got rid of the salad dressing and now I like it for syrups and things so let's get in going to wash these cut the tops off and slice them that's the first thing so strawberries are all chopped and ready to go i'm going to add my two tablespoons of sugar and i'm also going to add just a one fourth of a cup of water just to get the process started of breaking down the strawberries now if you want to thicken up your syrup if you want it like a jam consistency all you have to do is add like one fourth teaspoon of um, cornstarch um, and you know and just start with one fourth teaspoon and I would just keep adding the one fourth until it got to the consistency that I desired but I just want syrup so I just want to cook the strawberries down to make a nice syrup that can go over once again yogurt or pancakes or something like that. So now I'm going to take it off the heat and let it settle and then uh, transfer it to my jar. And I almost forgot to say this took, to get to this point, it took probably about six minutes. Depending on how high your heat is, it doesn't take that long for this process to happen. Okay guys, so this is the final product here. It's very hot. Um, <laughs> uh, and this is, so... This is just an example of how I use it. So this is the yogurt. Uh, I put it, this is the yogurt part. And then at the top you have the berries and then when whoever takes it, uh, takes the lid off, they'll just mix everything in all together. And yeah, it's like your own personal little yogurt cup. And then we have the pancakes here. They're kind of amoeba shaped, you know. Uh, don't make fun of me, but you know hey they're homemade <laughs> these things happen and uh but yeah you know i thought this would be a fun uh video to do just a simple sauce if like i said if you want yours a little bit thicker um you know uh, i don't because i i wanted it to be a syrup and uh but if you want it like a jam consistency you just add cornstarch and that will thicken it for you and uh, you can use it for anything anything at all and um yeah, take a little time to make your own syrup. It's really good. It tastes delicious. It goes fast. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys, and if you have a strawberry festival going on in your community, check it out. You'll have a great time. And um, during the festival, you kind of get a discount on the strawberries as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.